Meeting to order. Uh, the first order of business is to read a prepared statement with regards to the budget. The purpose of this meeting is to set a tentative millage rate and a tentative budget. The proposed Walton County Board of County Commissioners countywide millage rate is 3.9746 mills and 0.4912 mills for the North Walton Mosquito Control District. In aggregate, this is a 9.02% increase over the rolled back rate. The rolled back rate is the rate that would essentially generate the same ad valorem tax revenues as last year. The countywide 3.9746 mills, which are applied to the general, county transportation, fine and forfeiture, and capital projects slash infrastructure funds, is 0.3383 mills higher than the fiscal year 2014-15 rate. The 0.4912 millage rate for the North Walton Mosquito Control District is the same as fiscal year 2014-15 rate. With that, I will turn this over to the County Administrator. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Commissioners, uh, Melissa Thompson will be making our presentation on behalf of staff. Good afternoon. Since the July budget workshop, we have worked to incorporate all the items requested by the board into next year's budget. And we believe that we will be able to operate efficiently and accomplish the initiatives of the board utilizing the current countywide millage rate of 3.6363. This millage would provide, and these are our items that we had gone over in July at the workshops, it would provide $500,000 to begin the new landfill facility, a cost of living increase for employees of 3% for employees earning $60,000 or less and 2% for employees earning over $60,000. And as in fiscal year 15, a 1.5% COLA has been budgeted for new hires still on probationary status. An environmental planner is included, one FTE for the legal department, and this this, fund, this millage rate would fund $3 million for the South Walton TIF Trust Fund. Also, as we have gotten closer to year end and been able to update our projections, there is an additional, additional $480,000 that can be allocated to the sheriff from the fine and forfeiture fund for vehicle purchases in 2016. Keeping the current millage rate would require a change in the millage allocation from the current fiscal year. The 0.08 mills currently in the infrastructure fund would no longer be in a separate capital projects fund. The fiscal year 2016 funding for those five stormwater projects that have begun this fiscal year would shift. The funding for those would be in the South Walton TIF Trust Fund for next year. And um, that would allocate $1 million to those projects with $2 million remaining in fiscal year 16 for additional projects. One item that we can, that the board could consider tonight is that the change to the millage rate from, if the board wishes to change the millage rate from the 3.9746 at the budget workshop in July, this would change the TIF amount. And since July, we did find out that the board can make adjustments to what goes into the TIF trust fund. The TDC budget has been included for your consideration at the full amount requested. We are requesting that the additional positions be funded, but that the FTEs not be authorized until further analysis has been done and decisions have been made by the board regarding any reorganization or possible privatization. Also, the cost allocation study has been included, but this is something that we can monitor. We will monitor throughout the year and any changes made to the structure of the TDC and um, any adjustments that need to be made, we can make those into the next fiscal year. The countywide millage in the proposed budget document is 3.9746 mills. This is a, three, is a 0 0.3383 mil increase over the current rate, as Mr. Enfeld stated. At this millage, 4.2 million was included in the South Walton TIF Trust Fund. One million was included in the infrastructure fund with an additional $2 million remaining. 
and the, the current proposed budget does leave the North Walton mosquito control millage at .4912, same as the current fiscal year rate. And just to give the board a point of reference in today's discussion, uh, for whatever action the board wishes to choose, chooses to take regarding the, the millage and the budget, .08 mills generates approximately $1 million. A quick question. Yes, With sir. regard to the $480,000 for the sheriff, are you going to amend the current year's budget for that, or are you planning on making that part of the next year's budget? Part of next year's budget. Okay. So, Commissioners, just in, in a nutshell, um, the, the things that you told us were important at our previous workshop were, was the $500,000 to begin the process of renovating the um, transfer station at the landfill, uh, one FTE for legal, one FTE for planning, um, the COLAs at the split of uh, 2 and 3 percent, and the TIF, uh, South Walton TIF. And at the current millage rate, with no increase in millage, uh, we can fund the, that TIF at $3 million and provide for all the other uh, components that we just mentioned. And isn't it conceivable, although, um the pot one people have not brought us their recommendations yet, but that um, most of that 5.5 million um, in the pot one, one for this coming year, we should get it, what, the next six months or so, I believe, um, could also be spent for stormwater. That's yes, we, I know we had talked about that in the past, so that's, that, yeah, more that's millions correct. to go through. That'll certainly stormwater. be at yeah. this board's discretion. Commissioner Meadows. Yeah, so what would that be as a, what would the TIF percentage be this year? At $3 million uh -huh. and the current millage rate, yeah. it would be 58.2%. Okay, thank you. Okay. Commissioners, before we ask for a motion to open the public hearing, any other comments? I need a motion to open a public hearing. So moved. Okay. And motion in a second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay, this is a public hearing. Is there anyone out there that wishes to make a comment? Yes, ma'am. Come, come to the podium, please. State your name. Spell your last name for the record, please. It's Rose Rogers, R-O-G-E-R-S. And I guess on, on my trim statement, I thought that if the assessed value of your home went up that the millage rate could not go up at the same time. But but it, it looks on here that they're both going up. So, but from what she just said, it sounds like it's going to stay down. So, <laughs> I don't know. Is that, am I wrong on that? Are you, are you homestead? I am. Okay. It makes a difference if you're homestead. Yeah. Well, your, your property value can, the assessed property value can go up only 3% per year if you're homesteaded. But the millage uh, increase is governed by state statute and it, it is not necessarily tied to whether you're homesteaded or not. So both could go up. But what I'm hearing being proposed is that we go back to no increase in the right. tax rate. And that's that's what we're going to be talking about and looking for a motion in a minute. Okay. Okay. One, one of the things too is if you have a non-homesteaded property and it goes up in value and some of them have, you know, they've gone up yeah. substantially you're even at the same millage rate your taxes would be higher do you see mm -hmm. what I mean mm -hmm. yeah so um, there are some people who will get a tax bill that is higher than last year because of the home value increase <coughs> but if it was both I mean it would be even higher if, it was the, if the millage went up and yes. the assessed value yeah. went up it would be quite a, a but your homestead but I'm homestead. Yeah, so. absolutely. It would it would go way up. Yeah. So okay. okay. Hope it doesn't. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Any other comment? Mm -hmm. Seeing none. What's the wishes of the board? Motion to close public hearing. Second. second. Third. Third. We have a motion and a second. All in favor, say aye. 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 Okay. Motion carries. Now, what? We're, are there actually? There's three components. We've got to do. An amendment to the TIF resolution if we accept yours. Yes, sir. So let's look at what are we going to propose for the millage rate? And if it's different from what we adopted at the July, then we'll need to adjust 3 that resolution and then <clears throat> the budget number. 
Well, I'll make the motion to reduce it to last this year's rate, 3.6363. Second. Okay, we have a motion and a second. Yeah. I, All right. I believe we need the TIF resolution so. first. first. Okay. I withdraw my second. We, well, okay. well, we need to know that we're going to go to that number. Yeah. And then I was going to take this, the TIF resolution next so that it's, it's okay. consistent. Yeah. And then we'll go to the budget. So okay. in order for you to be able to say what you've got to say, we've got to know what the number is. So okay. we, we have yeah. a motion and a second on the floor. Yeah. We just closed the public discussion. Yes. Yes. Okay. yes. yes. Okay. okay, so we've got the motion to second for, for that. 3.6363. Right. So, at, yes, ma'am. Go ahead. Go ahead. We got to vote on that one first. Right. right. Just a question. So, at that 3.63, um, if we had raised it, um, like we said, the TIF would have something like four and a half million dollars in 4. it. 4.225. 4. 4. Okay, so now um, it's actually going down to 2.0. But we're adding in a million from somewhere else. Yeah. The the so infrastructure millage is no longer would no longer so the, be allocated okay. to a separate fund. Yes, okay, ma'am. So the infrastructure millage, or, uh, the infrastructure fund from last year is going into that TIF. Yeah. No. Not directly, but it, it does roll into the the, the fund. Okay. So allocated. the TIF is actually is actually producing with this low with this millage rate three point six three. Two million is that correct? For current year, if you back off the infrastructure, yeah. If you back off the one million that was added, I just want to make sure I've got all this correct. Um, okay, so um, okay, I just wanted to make sure I had all that. So it's really two million in TIF funds, plus a million from the um, 0.08 from last year, which is three million, and the TIF is actually almost 60 percent uh, and and that number is coincides with two million it 58 percent it coincides with three million it coincides with three million yes, even though the how can you do that I, the I, it's 38 percent for two million right yes ma'am that sounds correct i can run it real quick but that sounds correct um the the million dollars that went into the infrastructure fund there was an appreciation in the ad valorem in the taxable value that was attributable to that. So that appreciation has kind of rolled over to the, the TIF calculation instead of being in the infrastructure calculation. So it, there were several moving pieces to it. Okay. So actually, two million is thirty eight percent of the. I'm just trying to get all these numbers. Let me, let me take a shot at it, Commissioner. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> when we um, mm -hmm. ask you to approve a number of the stormwater projects to right. begin that process, mm -hmm. we anticipated, uh, based on last year's discussion, mm -hmm. the 0.08% uh, infrastructure yeah. funds to fund those projects. Mm -hmm. And the way the, the, uh, the proposal is before you, that fund actually rolls into the um, general fund okay. that point zero eight. Okay. And at the fifty eight percent, three million would be funded into the TIF. Okay. Well, we would anticipate using a million of that to fund those infrastructure pro those stormwater projects in South Walton. Right. So that would leave two million to do other um, improvements with. In in the TIF district. Okay. Okay. I just wanted to be able to explain all those numbers sure. to somebody. Thank you. Any, any other commissioner comments? Any public comment? Seeing not. Yes, sir, Mr. Hudson. <coughs> I'm Bob Hudson, HUDSO, and I'm going to try and make a stab at this as well because <laughs> I have to explain it to people. The TIF is going to be $3 million. That's what you're putting in the TIF fund. The change in $1 million comes where you were going to spend that out of the general operating budget, you're now going to spend that $1 million out of the TIF account. Well, actually, it was uh, the infrastructure. If you remember last the year. the infrastructure. Yeah. Okay. Right. And, and, and last year, the board said they actually intend, had intentions to bump it up another eight-tenths of a mill, eight-one-hundredths of a mill, which would have been a million dollars. Correct. By keeping that total ad valorem millage rate the same uh, and taking 58% of that increase, 
um, we would have. I didn't jump up and say thank you, but I'll say it now. Okay. But I mean, I think <clears throat> keeping the millage right where it is. I, I just want to make sure that I understand. You have not reduced, in effect, what the TIF is. What you've done sure. is moved the money in a different way to create the $3 million. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yep. Any other comments? Seeing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? The motion carries. Now, the resolution f to modify the previous TIF resolution is to change it to what number? It'll change it to 58.2%. And um, just to make sure that everything's in the right order, do we also need the resolution for the North Walton Mosquito? Yes, we do, but I want to I want to get this one done because it's going to okay. take that resolution. Then we'll go to the North Walton. Okay, I'll need a motion and a second on that. Second. Motion and a second. Any further commission discussion? And just make, make sure I'm clear. The only thing that needs to be amended from the previous, previous re resolution is the 0.58%. The percentage, yes. No okay. There was no other change to it. Okay. Yeah, it's going to Any public comment? Seeing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Now, I need a motion and a second for the millage rate for North Walton Mosquito Control, which is proposed to be 0 0.4912, which is the same millage rate as this, as this year. So moved. Second. I have a motion and a second. Any further board discussion? Any public comment? Seeing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Okay. Uh, now we need the, the budgets. We've got both... Uh, Do I have the one? Do, do you have got the one that's, that's also included the uh, money for the sheriff's cars? Okay. This this is a joint one, and it asks for your approval for a budget. Of one hundred and twenty seven million two hundred and twenty nine thousand nine hundred and forty four thousand dollars for county government of which six hundred and three thousand five hundred eleven dollars is for the North Walton Mosquito Control District. I need a motion and a second. So moved. Second. Motion and a second. Any further commission discussion? Any public comment? Seeing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Anything else, Melissa? <laughs> That's all I have. Thank, thank you to you and your staff for. What do we need? What do you need? What, how many sheriff? How many cars will this buy? You approve one of these, correct? Yes, sir. You know, you can get far on those segways, especially when traffic is heavy. So now, now, what? How many cars does the whole sheriff's budget um, that we approved? I mean, we approved another four hundred eighty thousand, but before that, I think the sheriff had asked for three point two million or something. Yeah, yes, ma'am. Okay, so how how many cars in total will you be able to buy? We have two. We have a fleet of two hundred seventy-seven vehicles. Okay. Sorry, we spilled some water up here, and it is not. <laughs> it is, it is now. I sp let me say that I spill some water there. It is now making its way, but go ahead. We we have a fleet of two hundred seventy seven vehicles. Okay, so the three point whatever million it is in this budget, how many cars we'd be able to switch out or change out or get new cars? Well, I, I, I'm not familiar with that three point two number here. The, yeah, in, the that increase over last year's budget, I'm, I'm not the sure. It was the last year's sheriff's budget. My understanding was that it was for new cars. The, there, there are some other operational increases. There is some for cars. I think the our intention was was the 480 thousand plus approximately an additional 400 thousand that we were going to try to 
pull out of the operating budget for a total of almost 800,000 is where we were at. Okay. That, that will get us almost 25 cars. At, at 277 in the fleet, you know, typically those are rolled over in four year time span. So okay. you can do the math. It's not going to get us to that. It's going to keep us behind, but it will fill some of our critical needs. Okay, so that in budget increase of three point something million for the sheriff's office is not all cars. It is not all cars. Okay. Some of it okay. is operating expenses. Okay, I right. was, um, I, I don't know why I was And, and I'm sorry, I didn't bring the detail with me, but That's I can okay. get that to you. That's okay. I just, I, for some reason, I was under the impression it was all cars. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Take a motion to adjourn. Just uh, if you would, move, Commissioner. Move, just move, on, move. on behalf of staff, I want to say thank you to each of you for your time and effort in helping us put this budget together. It means a lot that we can work together and get through these things fairly smoothly. We hear horror stories from other counties and what they go through, and to our constitutional officers and uh, their efforts, and uh, especially to Melissa and her staff for their hard work. I know we've got another meeting a uh, week from today for the to finalize everything, but. Um, just want to say thanks to Melissa and to all of you guys for uh, helping us get to this point. Um, I think that get, needs to go back to, to everybody out there uh, from, I see Bobby sitting out there with the fire department and Jeff and, and everybody that sharpened their pencil and then sharpened it again when we asked them to. So it's, it's not only us, it's all of them that had to, to bring us to, to this day. So Thank you. Motion to adjourn. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Adjourned. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for your attention.